and let's save our work and main reason why we have this washout if you remember that's happening is because we have it in our main camera after exposure is enabled so i like to disable this and set no exposure filter you'll notice how it will change so now we'll have a darker sky because exposure will not affect so Wu does not try to select it so this way we can create a little bit more deeper colors and you can see right in a corner okay let's go now to atmosphere editor there also this glowing and this is where we come with the balance because this is glowing it's happened due to our foreground haze and aerial perspective as well we add glow intensity so we can reduce uh, scattering entropy so the light won't be glowing away from the sun maybe this way we can also um take clouds just reduce overall glowing that should will help to this as well we want to increase decay amount pop up a little bit more around 50 60 well, this should create quite a bit sunset look for us reddish um, maybe a little bit too much we'll see how we can modify this so we don't want too red sky to burn sky so maybe 34 let's try this one um, and also we can just slightly reduce on the aerial perspective so it will give it a somewhat clear sky just a little bit okay let's go back to the clouds and we do have a lot of clouds that is um, on our area the one way we look before we control two through the our sliders we also can go inside our browser we can select our clouds in this area and modify them in our setting for example thick high camels right there i want to bring them lower so we can select from here and just drag one thing what we don't want it is touch one cloud start touching terrain then we'll have it quite a bit increase in render time so we want to avoid that as well and you know let's also take a little bit shrink from the top layer height so we'll have it kind of a little bit more open on the sky in this area okay right here you can see okay as well let's go to the lighting okay sunlight this is currently for the metric we can switch to the standard we'll create a little bit more illustration brighter but i think with this will work fine and notice also as we remove it down we have it now nice glowing around the clouds creating this interesting effect from the sun like it there so it's our sky okay let's go back to the cloud and to work a little bit more on the clouds now we'll start kind of touch up so let's do turn it off astral cloud front and big canvas so we have it overall shape down of the clouds this messiness creating but now i want to work specifically on some clouds so this is our lower level okay we have it position you know what let's go see we want to um, pop up a past just a little bit and increase in feathering so just those areas okay also i want to add more coloring i do like some of the red color what they represent but however i want deeper blue we can actually going inside edit this cloud material if we just double tap click or go edit layer and in this area we can actually modify like override ambient effect so right here with the force ambient color we can enable and sky and sun so for the sky we can select the color blue and just a little bit not too much just very very slight adjustments so notice as we adjust the sliding right in those shadows because it's come from the sky we'll have a little bit more bluish tint in this again we can modify that a little bit more by adding dramatic a little bit more saturation on our color and you'll see in the areas right down there 
will have an effect. So again, this is if you want to um, add a little bit more effect on this, but I say we'll go so just slightly thin, not too much. Okay. So next, let's go look on the sun. Sun again, it's from here. It's how will affect. Just example. Let's go select green all the way. And see what's happening when we select green. It's not necessarily will be the pure, pure green color, but it will affect slightly right here. So in this case, if I want to add this color gradient, gradient kind of to my, I will go select and add additional. So greenish right in those areas, you can see a little bit from the sun. So I don't necessarily want green. I want a little bit more yellow reddish. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, this is adding to our clouds. Um, we leave it um, there, but because the low and low clouds will create more noise, I want to just pop up a little bit to about one on the quality. So in the low density right there, we'll have it a little bit less grainy. Okay, we'll look okay there. We'll just leave it everything as default. And we're going to go back to our atmosphere editor. So this is our thick. We can disable the alto stratus. If you remember, it just flat on top. This cloud and those alto we should actually have it way higher because they're about six kilometers. So we'll pop up them way, way up. Uh, because we bring them up, the scale it's become a little bit different. So I don't want that necessary scale. And I'll pop up maybe to scale one. So we'll stretch them. A little bit more right on top. Okay, let's see when they refresh. Yep, that is about right. And we'll take density and bring density down. So I don't want them to have a too hard effect on ours. There you go. This is our alto one. Let's go look on our front cloud storm. So this is will come from the side with the cover sun. And I'm not necessarily like how the sun is covered in this area because it will um, prevent from glowing. But I do like how the clouds is glowing on the side. What we can do with this, we can actually take our cloud front right here. And you notice we actually can rotate and modify our cloud. So if I rotate around 180 degrees, you'll notice how it will change in the so now our clouds is on our right side. And actually, I can drag this clouds and you can see as I'm dragging, if I don't necessarily like the position of clouds, I can reposition them. And one thing to notice about clouds, clouds is a fractal render. So you're not necessarily can do um, same clouds all the time. Sometimes you need to play with them. Anyway, so right here, We'll just drag a little bit more, maybe rotate. So I'll just want to add them to this corner right here. Okay, so as clouds, same is they look nice, dense, everything on the side. Uh, we want uh, maybe add a little bit more glowing to the side. And we'll just add a little bit feathering right here. We'll leave it altitude. Let's switch ambient light and same things. We'll go to double time click to go edit our layer. So we'll go to edit settings for this and light effects. We have the same force ambient color I want to do and a sky. Let's go with a darker blue. So it should um, affect because density here is quite a bit high. Yep, they start glowing a lot because of this effect. So we'll want to switch again. A little bit bluish on this. And the sun. So we'll go to adjust. A little bit reddish. Okay. Just to add softness a little bit to this, to lighting. Okay, let's go back to atmosphere editor. And even our density, but we with uh, this ambient light force, we add a little bit lightness to this. Okay, um, edges of our clouds, we can 
work with uh, reducing sharpness. So this is actual sharpness. Overall, it's just contrast that we applied to our layer, if you think about this. So we'll add maybe a little bit less even sharpness. Details, ambient. Mm -hmm. And let's see, it should actually create nicer, yep, right there, a little bit of fill up. Kind of more, actually, you know what? Let's just leave it bit on the feathering. Just add those details coming back a little bit to us. Okay, as well, we have it one kilometer altitude. We can increase a little bit height and bring just a little bit down again. So we should have it a bit more details then. Okay, overall, what we're doing it is adjusting and tweaking and I want this cloud kind of going but I don't want to necessarily have it on the sun area but at the same time maybe I just open a little bit in this area so we'll go just reduce cover maybe it's too aggressive there you go around this area increase opacity so I want to have this kind of almost Clouds say on the side. Okay. We can come back to this um, playing with a little bit more with clouds in the next um, tutorial.